The top overall pick in the NFL draft officially has a home. Jadavian Clowney signed a contract with more than $22 million guaranteed. I'm Phil Murphy, joined by ESPN Texans reporter Tanya Ganguly. Tanya, the hype could have hardly been greater for Jadavian Clowney in this final season at South Carolina. What are the expectations for Clowney in Houston? Well, they're expecting a day one starter, but they do know that there's a learning curve for him. Uh, you know, he was the most talented player in the draft, and they're expecting a lot out of that. They're expecting a lot of effort. You know, I talked to Mike Rabel, the linebacker's coach, last week, and he said effort is something we don't coach. Every one of our guys that's going to be starting on this team is going to have put in a lot of effort into what they're doing. And, uh, you know, that's, that's um, probably going to include Clowney as the season goes on. You mentioned his position. He's played his whole life at defensive end, but Clowney's making a move to outside linebacker in Romeo Cornell's 3-4 scheme. What do you think will be the keys for Clowney to make that transition? Well, part of that, it's going to help to have a guy that made that transition himself when he was a player in Mike Vrabel. Now, Vrabel talked a lot with me about how it took him a long time to do it, and so he knows the kinds of things that they struggle with, and part of that is tackling in space. I mean, you're not going to not use it. Clowney, uh, just because he hasn't perfected the position, he's going to learn a lot of that on the field. And I would bet that he's going to be, have his hand on the ground quite a bit early on because that's where they can use him to his best strength. You don't want to put him in a position where he struggles or where he's not com quite comfortable yet. And the Texans coaches know that. They're not in the business of trying to shove someone into a position that he's not comfortable in. So all these factors considered, what would you consider a barometer for a successful rookie season? Well, the Texans really didn't have a ton of pressure coming from their outside linebackers last year. And when you play a 3-4 defense, it's really important, even though they're out of that scheme for a lot of the time that they're on the field, it is important to have that, addition, that pressure in addition to having J.J. Watt in the middle. So I think if he's adding to that, if he's doing his job, if he's setting the edge, then that will, make him a, that will give him a successful rookie season. Everybody has a learning curve. J.J. Watt took until late in the season his rookie year to get it going, and he's a pretty good player. Well, either way, it'll be a lot of fun to watch unless you're a fan of another team in the AFC South. Thanks so much, Tanya. No problem. For Tanya Ganguly, I'm Phil Murphy with your latest ESPN headline.